these shoes, a child learned to stand on his own two feet. His baby shoes have joined piles of others. They're about to be preserved forever. Information about the shoe's owners is recorded, including personal details for engraving. A tracking number is assigned to each pair. Without it, some shoes might not find their way back to their owners. That number is stamped onto insoles. There's a special coating on the insoles that will prevent the metal plating from sticking to them. So this number will be visible throughout processing. The insoles are stapled down. And then the shoes are dipped in a special formula. It chemically seals them and will also help stiffen them as they dry later. But first they're hung to allow excess liquid to drip off. Each shoe is stuffed with plastic to give it shape. A rolled plastic form is pushed into each shoe to complete the shaping. The laces are tied and the bows are positioned flat against the shoes so they won't break off during the rest of the process. As an extra precaution, a rubber band is wrapped around each bow and then glued down. With the shaping plastic removed and the shoes dried and stiffened, holes are drilled into the bottom of the soles. This will allow them to be hung on prongs later during plating. But before that happens, a mix of water, copper and other ingredients is stirred. A rack full of baby shoes is carefully submerged into the coppery liquid. This isn't the final coating, it's a key preparation step. It makes the shoes conductive so they can be electroplated. The shoes are hung to dry and a little more of the liquid is dribbled onto them to cover any bare spots. The finish is allowed to dry for a couple of days. Then they're lowered into the electroplating tank. An electrical current runs through to the shoes, attracting copper in the tank to plate them. Using a special polishing wheel, the bright copper finish is scratched. This prepares them for the next step. A black finish is sprayed onto the shoes. And then it's wiped off, rubbing some into the crevices to give them an antique appearance. Next, they're sprayed with a protective lacquer. You can still see the identification number clearly on the insole, so they haven't lost track of the owner. The engraving plate is attached onto a wooden base, and the shoes are screwed onto it. Now they won't be going anywhere, except down memory lane. And it seems there's no end of bronzed keepsakes that can also take you there. From cowboy boots, to burgers on a bun. I remember that one. <laughs>